The governor announcing big economic news for Jacksonville, a deal with the shipping company and Jack's port for container service. One of the biggest issues facing the nation that has led to record inflation is supply chain issues. Governor Ron DeSantis has welcomed cargo ships that have trouble getting into other ports. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us the significance of the deal. Sea Lead, which is based out of Singapore, is making Jack's port its very first U.S. port for container service on the East Coast. So Optimism a for a new service that may strengthen a struggling supply chain. Singapore. We said we had capacity here in Jack's port and in our other ports uh, and that we stand ready to assist to make sure that, that goods are getting to market. Governor DeSantis announcing a new deal with Sea Lead Shipping, which is moving a part of its operation from California to the River City. The plan is for the port in Blunt Island to be the last stop of the rotation. The container service will make four stops in Asia, including cities in China and South Korea. It will also hit ports in Virginia, New Jersey, and South Carolina before its last stop at Blunt Island. <laughs> Jack's Port CEO Eric Green Jack's says this is a big move to this part of the country, and it puts the port in the spotlight. We are creating more jobs, economic opportunity, and supply chain security for our region and state. I think was one of the first to have ships rerouted uh, to, to Jacksonville, and we've seen success at all these other ports. Pramod Raj with Sea Lead Shipping says it decided to make a move to the East Coast after experiencing significant slowdown at a port in Long Beach, California. He's hopeful things will be different here. This is an opportunity we've taken, and we want to grow this to a long-term relationship. Florida is part of the solution. Jack's port officials say the port serves more than 98 million customers in America with same-day access to goods. The first container for this new service is scheduled to arrive in Blunt Island on May 7th. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.